There are three bony elements which compose the pectoral girdle of birds, which allows flight. The scapula, the prochoracoid, and the clavicle. In birds, prochoracoid is perhaps a preferred term over the term coracoid, which can also refer to a second element in mammals which composes the coracoid process. In almost all birds, the two clavicles fuse, and the single fused bone is known as the furcula, referred to as the wishbone at Thanksgiving. So these three elements were present in the pectoral girdles of the first tetrapods and uh, in the first amniotes, where the prochoracoid and scapula had separated to become separate elements. In crocodiles today, one can observe the prochoracoid and the scapula. And in dinosaurs, one can easily observe the prochoracoid and the scapula. In theropod dinosaurs, the clavicles could be present, but they were small elements which did not always fossilize. In some dinosaurs, the clavicles actually fused and formed a furcula, which other than these dinosaurs is only known in birds. All of these bones can be observed in the pectoral girdle of modern birds, although sometimes their view is obscured by the presence of the wing, the humerus, radius, ulna, etc. And so they're most clearly viewed if the wing is removed. The thin strap-like scapula is best seen from a dorsal view, while the furcula, the fused clavicles, are best viewed ventrally uh, from an anterior view. The theropod dinosaurs most closely related to birds had already made modifications to these bones, which would serve as adaptations for the first birds, which would uh, use them in gliding and perhaps weak flight. The earliest birds were not capable of the powered flight seen in later birds, and it was a later group of birds, the Ornithotheraces, sometimes called the Ornithoraces, were a bird thorax, which had made further modifications, lengthening uh, the uh, prochoracoid and uh, then the formation of the triosseal canal for uh, muscle attachments. Today, the orientation of these bones can still be relevant in the uh, function of the wing in specific bird species. For example, in flightless birds like this rhea, the angle where the scapula and the prochoracoid meet is an obtuse angle greater than 90 degrees. The same can be observed in infant birds. However, in flying birds, this uh, angle is modified so that it is an acute angle where the scapula and prochoracoid meet.